Yo, what's up guys? I'm just chilling with the Extreme Q here. Got some sad stuff to talk about, so if you don't want a sad story, find something else to do, yo. But I'm just trying to help some people today, so if you guys need a little bit of help, maybe I can fucking, I don't know, open your eyes a little bit. Who knows? Let's see. Put that in there. So I just kind of want to talk about something sad that happened, super sad. Um, a little boy, Noah. Um, Noah Sarah Morrison, uh, just a little boy, uh, he died, he died at the hands of his parents, so we've all seen these stories before, maybe some of you haven't, I know I've seen many, many stories like this, I've fucking, I've seen some, like, messed up stories where parents have killed their kids for, you know, different reasons or whatever, um, but this one was straight out of, like, fucking frustration, anger, um, you know, all the stuff that weed is supposed to help you with. But uh, I can promise you, at the end of the day, you know, if you've got anger issues, uh, you've got, if you've got any issues like this, uh, any psychological problem, uh, weed is not the be-all and end-all. It's not, it's not the answer to the problem. You're the answer to the problem. It can help you through the problem. It can help you think about or change the way that you think about something, um, which can help a lot because uh, some people are very in their own mind, like in their own mindset of, you know, how things should be done, this is how it should be done, um, it shouldn't change from this, it should never waver, it should only be done like this. Um, and, uh, and I've seen people get happy, like pride, like pride, motherfucking pride from, from getting annoyed at small things, you know, like, ah, oh, small things annoy me, like, ooh, you know, like, If you're one of those people that like, oh, little things annoy me or, you know, or like I have an anger issue. And you, if you know you have a fucking problem, like try and sort it out, please, before you kill your kid. Um, I know I had I had anger issues, you know, uh, PTSD, uh, ADHD, anxiety, depression. Um, you know, even down to even down to IBS can change my fucking mood. Uh, I could be annoyed at whatever, you know, so. So really, it's understanding you have a problem and then dealing with that problem um, in an appropriate way. Uh, weed is not necessarily, or drugs are not necessarily an appropriate way of dealing with a problem that you may have. Um, you are, you, you are the best method for changing how you behave, um, how you affect other people. You can just see it, how you affect other people. Um, you know, it was a lot harder for me uh, when I was younger. I couldn't, I couldn't really see how my attitude affected other people. But as you kind of grow up, you realize, oh, you're, you know, this, you're putting this person off or, you know, this person is getting annoyed or, or, or you're getting annoyed at something small or whatever. You know, you've got to kind of got to realize your personality. I, I, I think a lot of the time maybe you need a, a good partner by your side, someone who can say, you know, someone who you trust. So if you're one of those people that maybe think you have an anger issue or whatever, go and speak to someone who you trust. Um, that's probably probably a better idea. Go and find someone you trust and speak to them. And um, just because because Hardeep Hardeep got annoyed. Hardeep got annoyed. So he. Um, smashed the kid's head against the hard surface until the kid stopped making noise because the noise was annoying, right? So smash the noise until it stops annoying you, right? And there's a lot of other ways he probably could have dealt with that, to be honest. Um, the kid didn't die of these, but he had 15 fractures, um, his arms, his legs, and his left foot. But what killed him was the six-inch wound across his skull, um... He'll be serving a minimum of 23 years, apparently, for this. Um, this all could have been avoided. This all could have been avoided had had someone said to him, you know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's a, maybe it couldn't have been avoided. You know, it's a really, it's a really tough one. It's a slippery slope when it comes to to mental disorder. Um, and 
you need we need people who want to get involved who you know a lot of people shy away from like ah oh, I don't like that guy stay away from him maybe it's better if we're just kind of friends to people we don't really like that much um, if they you know if they haven't if they have issues like that like you know he's always annoyed or whatever maybe it's maybe it's better telling them that they're too annoyed too annoyed all the time it's making me not want to be around you I, I don't I don't know what the answers are um, I don't know what all the answers are but I can tell you that at the end of the day if you've got an issue drugs are not 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 gonna solve the issue they can help you in certain ways um, but they're not gonna. They're not gonna solve your issue. You need people around you. Um, you need to be able to speak to people. You need to put your ideas onto other people and get feedback. That's a big thing about being human. Is we need feedback because if we don't, we just end up on this fucking tirade. You know, like this is how things are supposed to be done, and regardless of how that makes other people feel, um, or what effect that has on other people's life. Anyway, I'm pretty high. I already had a bowl of this uh, a little while ago. I tried to make this video, but this is a really hard video to make. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> But little Noah Sarah Morrison, he won't be around any longer simply because uh, his parents didn't go and get the help that they needed um, or they didn't have the support around them. Or, and who can say who's at fault there? Um, I'm just, I really, I'm really only appealing to people who, like, you know, have a problem or maybe you know someone who has a problem. Maybe there's more effort you can put into their life to help them out. I don't know. I'm not telling you what to fucking do. I'm not. I'm not saying like you know. Don't go on your holiday and go and out help out little Tim or whatever the fuck. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like, if if you if you know you have a problem or if you know someone with that that has a problem and you can do something to affect change in that person's life, then fucking try before before people get hurt. I suppose. I don't know, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. It's a hard knock life for us. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good day. Have a good one. I might bring you something more upbeat later on. <laughs>